as you go into your postdoc, you would, you would expect to emerge more as a much more independent scientist during that time. I've worked mainly with postdocs, not so much with graduate students. And what I'm always looking for with a postdoc is the postdoc who comes in and at the beginning they do, the postdoc will do pretty much what you suggest. And then in two years time, they're telling you that's a really rotten experiment. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of crap. And they go on and tell you uh, why you're wrong. And that's, that's much more fun, actually. You know? So you want, to see, you want to see growth, intellectual growth, growth of independence, uh, and growth of a persona uh, that's identifiable. Uh, with a particular area of science. You know. And don't be afraid, between PhD and postdoc, for instance, don't be afraid to change fields and go and do something quite different. If you've got good basic science skills, if you've learned, the learned how to do an experiment, you learn how to interpret an experiment, learn how to write it up, then you can work in other fields. You can switch from immunology to neuroscience or whatever you want to do.